Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back into the channel. I get asked by a ton of people who are brand new to the reselling game or never resold in their lives, how do you get started reselling today? And I wanna go ahead and cover that step by step. So for all of you returning subscribers, followers, viewers, you can skip over this video or watch it and you might learn something new about reselling, about something that you've been missing out on or not doing correctly. And hopefully I'll cover this in a very quick couple of minutes for all of you new sellers. So let's jump right into the video. All right, so the first thing I get asked all the time is what platform should you start on when you're reselling? And I always recommend eBay, even though it is difficult, uh, more difficult than some platforms to learn. It's much easier on Poshmark and Macari, I feel like. eBay is the best platform to learn first because you can sell the most stuff, you get the best audience, and you'll have the best results. Amazon is bigger, but it has way more restrictions and way more rules that you definitely don't want to be your first platform to learn selling on. I promise you that. So step number one, when you just uh, decide that eBay is gonna be your platform is to follow the four big no-nos, big eBay rules that you have to follow or you will lose your account immediately. Step number one is always describe your items completely. Do not lie about any flaws, any bad things about it, whether it's new or used, even if you've opened the box and look at it, it's not new anymore, it's used. Always describe your items, always, always, always exactly correctly. Don't try to hide things, lie to people or embellish. They will catch you, you'll get a return and you'll spend more time and money on it than if you'd just been honest to begin with. Number two is never cancel an order on eBay. No matter what, you do not cancel orders. You will lose your account. Don't make eBay step in. Never cancel orders. I fully describe that to everybody. There's a way to go about it if you lose an item or if you can't find something, or if you, you accidentally double sold items, there's a way to handle it and a way not to handle it. If you're gonna click that cancel button and choose out of stock or I lost it or whatever, you will lose your account. That's rule number two, don't cancel orders. There's a way to handle it, ask me. Number three is to always, 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 always make sure you have an organization system so that you don't break rule number two. Make sure that you have a way to find your items. And rule number four is there is a list of items that you never, ever, ever sell. I'll link that video below. Check that out before you start your reselling journey. Number five, the last one, always know how to ship and the shipping rules. I will post the 2023 shipping video down below as well. Both those resources link below, free to you, watch those videos. So once you know what not to sell, how to ship, not to cancel, not to describe your items falsely and all that good stuff. Where do you get inventory? How do you start without dumping a lot of money? You can start eBay for free. You can start selling on eBay for free today, right now. How do you do it, Casey? People ask all the time, how do you get started for free with no inventory? Well, I'm glad you asked everybody. Everybody's got clothes in their closet that they don't wear anymore. I have a ton up in my closet. I should be going through my own closet. And in fact, let's go do that. God, there's probably so many shirts, so many maybe Robert Graham's things that I don't wear, jeans, like pairs that I just should probably sell. I own like five suit jackets, nice jackets too. That was like a thousand bucks, like 500 that I don't even wear. There's just so much clothes and dressers. I, I keep a lot of my clothes like t-shirts and stuff in the, um, in the dresser. But at the end of the day, I've already sold a bunch of my clothes and I could probably sell more. But yeah, so always come to your closet because there's always stuff to sell. I mean, shoes that I don't hardly wear a lot of. I have more. I just, I don't know. Stuff I could probably get rid of. All right. Now you saw inside of my closet. There's tons of stuff you can always sell that you don't wear anymore. Shoes, clothes, heels, boots, whatever it is. There's always video games that you could be selling. There's always the old iPad you've had for five years because you upgraded or your old laptop. There's tons of things that you could be selling from around your house, decorations. Go around and collect those items up, collect them up, make a pile of the first five, 10, 15 items, and that's your free inventory. The average American has north, north of, $400 worth of extra inventory or items they can sell that they have not touched, used, or worn in the last year 
or less. That means over a year, you haven't touched it. You haven't worn it, you haven't looked at it. You don't even know it's there half the time. And that means if you really go digging, you might be able to find five, six, seven, a thousand dollars worth of inventory without ever touching a thrift store, without ever spending a dime that you can start on right now listing on eBay. All right, you guys probably noticed I am sweating to death. It is Florida, sorry about that. But once you have your pile of inventory and you know the rules and do's and don'ts of eBay for the most part, it's time to start. If you already have an account, great. If you do not have an account and you need to start an account, please do. As a seller, they're gonna require your bank account information, maybe your driver's license, your social security number. It's all normal, but make sure you're only submitting that directly on the eBay site where it asks you. Don't respond to emails or other things of that nature. If they send it to you, that's fine. Still, go to the internet, click www.ebay.com, go in there and sign up and do all of your stuff. If you already have an account, great. If you have zero feedback stars, you are going to get targeted by scammers. It's just the way it is. They know to look for zero feedback and they will try to get you to do transactions off the platform or to send them stuff or text them or call them. Ignore all that. The best advice I can give you is go buy five $1 items from like some of those overseas sellers that sell items for 99 cent free shipping. Don't ask how they do it. It's, it doesn't apply to us. They can do it. But go buy those items. Spend five bucks and you will get five feedback stars. They will automatically leave you buyer feedback. Now, I know it's not seller feedback, but at least all those scammers will see five stars or maybe three or four under your account and they won't target you and you won't have to worry about that. Pro tip number 490. I promise you, do it. You won't regret it. Okay, it's as easy as that. Go get the free inventory. Go get your account set up. Then start taking photos of all of your items. Photograph them. You can use your phone. You don't need a $3,000 DSLR camera. You don't need a point shoot. You just need your phone. If you have an iPhone uh, 8 or better or 7 or better, or you have an Android, whatever they have, the Notes or the Galaxy S's from the last, you know, if your phone is less than five or six years old, seven years old, it's probably perfectly fine, right? Probably even older than that. But if it's definitely within the last few years, use your phone. It's simple, it's easy, and you can list right from your phone, even though I don't recommend it, I don't do it, you can, or you can just send it right to your computer or laptop and start listing from there. Take all the photos of your items. Generally speaking, a basic shirt or a video game might be four, five, six pictures. Some more detailed antique type items or, or home good items might be eight to 10. I don't ever in my life have I ever taken more than like 10 photos of any item. So if you've got six, seven, eight, nine photos, you're probably doing good. Include fronts, backs, sides, you know, sleeves, tags, any pertinent information that you as a buyer would want to have in a listing to know what you're buying. And that is your next step to get started. Take all the photos. The final step is to create eBay listings by going to your new eBay account, clicking on the selling button and clicking to sell new item or make new listing and then filling everything in, your title, your description, your item specifics, dropping your photos in them and then pricing the items by price research. I will include a video linked below with the other two videos from the beginning of this one showing you exactly how to make a listing from start to finish. All the resource videos you need will be linked down below. So definitely go check those out. How to ship, the items not to sell, and how to make your listing from start to finish. Once you have the listing, you can submit it. Once you know how to price, that'll be in the video below and your item will be up and ready to go. Don't expect to list one or two items and sell them unless they're super hot items right away. It takes time, it takes consistency, and it takes making listings almost on a daily average uh, or a daily routine of it, uh, seven days a week. We're open seven days a week, guys, not five. We sell every single day, Saturday, Sunday. We don't have to ship Saturday or Sunday, but we definitely sell. And that is how you can get started selling on eBay today, right away with free, no money out of your pocket. All you have to do is find the inventory you have around your garage, around your house, around your closet, like you just saw inside of mine, and you will be up and running and making money on eBay in no time. And then you can get started with actually going to thrift stores or garage sales and learning how to price comp things and find things that are cheap enough that you can buy at a profit. Hopefully all of you new sellers enjoyed this video. If this is somebody watching this who is familiar with my content, who has watched my content, but knows that there might be people who could enjoy this content or learn from it, please share it on your social media. That is the best thing you can do for me and it means a ton. Facebook, Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube, your MySpace, your Spotify, wherever you share content, if you could share this video, I would highly, highly, highly appreciate it. 
Also hit that like button as always. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel and I can't wait to see you in future videos. Enjoy your evening, you guys, and I will see you again tomorrow.